Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, I've got another video for you guys today. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, hope you guys are having a good weekend and having good luck with all your gardening and, uh, and your all your projects. So without further ado, let's get over here to mine. So in the last video, I mentioned something about uh, roots growing through the drains for my main aquaponics system and clogging them up. So since we like finding solutions over here, that's exactly what I did. I dug the the suspect roots out and then I redesigned and rebuilt the entire drain system area and I'll show you guys what I have and I'll go over it with you so I have the drain from there here no problem it's doing what it's supposed to and then I have my normal four inch pipe here uh, originally this portion right here was a three inch because I when I built it I ran out of four inch so I had a reducer on it, and the reducer was causing the water level to be about two inches high all the time because it was reducing and going up in grade. So I cut that out, replaced it all with four inch, and then uh, for all the drains, uh, there's drains inside of here. Each one of these beds has its own drain now. So there's a uh, one inch vinyl tubing running from that grow bed over there with the dead corn. And then there's a, another one inch vinyl tube running from this bed right here. So water can no longer, uh, there's no free floating water inside the pipe any longer. Uh, so what had happened before was, I don't know if you guys can see all these roots all over the place. I don't know exactly where they're coming from. I don't have any trees or anything anywhere near here. So you know, I was guessing it maybe came from that tree, but who knows, roots always find a way. So they were coming in over here so previously this pipe was raised higher and it came down into the top right here and it was never sealed so what had happened was all these roots that you see here had all crept up in there and then wound up down here um, I don't have an example of the roots nearby because the all the videotaping I did yesterday for this project was bad because the camera got hot so all you guys get to see is an after so the hard parts are done now all I have to do is fill this back in with dirt um, I left it empty all night so that the roots that are exposed would dry out and kind of die off and then uh, also I could find out if there was any wet spots anywhere where it could be leaking which is not the case so we're gonna I'm gonna put the camera up and we're gonna fill this thing in so enjoy this goofy video everything filled back in and uh, watered down I just have to wait for the water to dry and uh, we'll be all complete so that's just one of those things I like to share with you guys so when I find uh, something that fails or breaks or doesn't work right I can uh, find a solution and then share it with you guys so that uh, if you're doing something similar, you don't uh, have the same problem. I got flies out here trying to land on my leg. So, yep, all done. So, thank you guys for tuning in. If you have any questions or comments, post those down at the bottom. Hit that like button. Uh, if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. And if you click the bell button next to subscribe, you'll get a notification each time I upload another video. If you're interested in following along with some of my projects, watching me screw something up, find a solution for something <laughs> or just uh, doing something differently because that's what I like to do over here. I like to grow uh, vegetables and fruits and do it in a different way than everybody else or well, not everybody else but you know you know what I mean doing things differently. So uh, yeah thank you guys for tuning in and as always keep building. <laughs>